Hello friends and welcome back to Electronic Box, the channel for a gear review and honest opinion about photo, video and other gear from our everyday life. The topic for today is Panasonic S1, a different look. Ok, I will start with a disclaimer that this will not be a detailed review. It will be quite the opposite. Today I'll show you how you can upgrade the camera with V-Lock key and I will also share some basic info that you have to know about the camera. S1, often called Mini S1H, is not a hybrid camera. It is purely a photo camera that happens to shoot some video. From the factory video specs are close to bad. 8-bit video with no waveform and no log profile. Basically, GH5S is times times better. I've watched many videos for this camera and most of them do not give me the most interesting answer that you need. Watching it, for me was not clear if VLOG comes for free with the firmware and if some codecs are locked or unlocked. Let me tell you the truth about that. In some countries like UK, when Panasonic launches some promo campaign, the VLOG key is free and they give it to you. But remember, there is no free firmware for Panasonic S1 that unlocks VLOG and other video features. You have to purchase one. It is around 150 euro. Now I will show you how this key can be activated. First, it's important to mention that this is a physical product. You can't buy it online and use it right away. You have to receive a real card from the post office or your supplier. When the package arrives, it looks like this. When you open it, there is a black plastic envelope with the card inside. The upgrade software key is called DMWSFU2. You have to use a fully charged battery or the update may not be completed if the battery power is not enough. A memory card must be formatted in the camera and empty. Next step is to check the firmware version of the camera. This can be found in Menu, Setup, Version Display. If the version is older, please do the firmware update first. It is free. The actual version for the moment is 1.7. The link is in the description of the video down below. Next, be sure again that the card is presented in the slot and it is formatted. Go to Menu, Setup and Activate. Navigate with up and down buttons to select Export Serial Code and press Menu Set button. A confirmation screen is displayed. It is executed when Yes is selected. The device information with the file name serial.list will be saved to the following path Private PANA GRP PAVC Lumix folder on the memory card. Insert memory card containing the device information into a PC connected to the Internet. Using a browser on PC, access the activation code generation site which also can be found in the description of the video down below and follow the on-screen instructions to acquire the activation code. The activation code with the file name active.list will be saved to the following path private pana grp pav folder on the memory card. Insert the memory card in the camera slot and navigate again to menu setup activate. Press up and down buttons to select Import Activation Code and then press Menu Set. A confirmation screen is displayed. It is executed when Yes is selected. A message will be displayed prompting you to turn off and on the camera, so please do that. And then you can enjoy 14 plus top of dynamic range by choosing full VLOG from PhotoStyle in Motion Picture menu. 4K 10-bit 60p 422 via HDMI live output, 4K 30p 24p 422 10-bit in-camera recording and other nice features like waveform for example. Before we wrap up this episode I want to mention a few more things about the camera. First, this camera is big and heavy. Some guys comment that this is a negative. For me, it's the quite the opposite. Imagine if you are paid shooting day, you go with Sony A6000 for example. Nobody will take you seriously. This is a pro camera that must be big, heavy and impressive. Second is the low light. The camera is absolutely perfect for low light usage. And if you can use Sigma 18 to 45 lens for Canon, for example, with an adapter, of course, you can film with one candle light. 
Third tip is that after the VLOG upgrade, you will actually unlock other audio features. And if you purchase another super accessory add-on like DMW XLR1, your video kit will be complete set and recorders like Sound Devices Mix Pre 3 will become obsolete and unnecessary for you. After the upgrade mentioned earlier, you really have a Mini S1H for one fourth of the price of a real one S1H. There you have it folks, S1 after the VLOG upgrade. Such an amazing camera. One of my top recommendations lately. Thanks for your time, keep the social distance, behave and be well. Peace.